Hi, welcome back to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and in today's episode, we're going to be making avocado bombs. To start with, we'll need a couple pounds of ground beef, and because this ground beef is pretty lean, I'm going to add in a little bit of avocado oil to help it hold together. At this point, you can add in whatever you feel like having in your ground beef. I'm going to add some chopped green onions. Now I'm going to add some seasoning to the meat, and of course I'm using my own special blend, which is T13. Now it's on to the avocados. First thing we need to do is cut these open and remove the seeds. To do that, I'll make a nice clean cut all the way around the avocado. Give the avocado a little twist and it will come right apart. To get the seed out, you take the knife and carefully whack it into the seed. Give that a little twist and pull up at the same time and it will come right out as well. I'll go ahead and do the rest of the avocados here real quick like. Okay, the next step is to remove the avocado skins. To do that, I'll just take a large spoon, run it carefully around the edge to loosen it from the skin and scoop the avocados right out from the skin. Easy as pie. Now that I have all the avocados split and skinned, I'm going to stuff them. And for the stuffing, I'm going to use sharp cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of seasoning. So I'll put a little bit of the, each one of the cheeses in the middle and add some seasoning and then put them back together. All right, the avocados are all stuffed. Now it's time to wrap them with the ground beef. So I'll take a little bit of ground beef pat it into my hand, make it nice and thin, and then start to wrap it around. Getting it started is the hardest part. Once you get a little bit of meat on there, then the meat starts to cling to itself and it gets easier as you go. You'll want to fully wrap the avocado so that there's none of the avocado left exposed. Completely surround it with the ground beef. Once you have all your avocados wrapped in ground beef, the next step is to wrap that with bacon. Mmm, bacon. I love bacon. For this, there's no set way to do it. Just wrap it however you see fit and however you can get it to go on there. If you use the thin sliced bacon, it works better as it will conform to the meat much easier than a thick slice. All right, these are all wrapped and almost ready to go in the smoker. Before I put them in the smoker, I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning. I'll add a little T13 to begin with. And then I will add some crushed red peppers to add a little bit of zing to them. All right, let's get these babies in the smoker. Today I'm going to be smoking at 250 degrees in my electric smoker and as always I'm using hickory chips for the smoke. Don't those look delicious? 
My mouth is watering already. Looks like they're coming along nicely. I decided I should probably have something more than just these meat bombs or avocado bombs. So I went ahead and added some corn on the cob to the smoker. It's been almost two hours and these avocado bombs are getting close to being done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them and then I'm actually gonna stick them in the broiler to crisp up that bacon a little bit. And here's the finished product. As you can see, throwing them in the broiler for a few minutes got that bacon nice and crispy. The ground beef is done just right. Let me tell you, these are fantastic. They're very simple and very healthy, despite what some folks might say. These are good. Try them yourself. Thanks for joining me today, and don't forget to subscribe, share, like, you know the drill. Thanks again. See you next time.